Apple products are, among other things, known for being some of the most expensive products on the market. And the Magic Trackpad 2 is no exception to this rule, coming in at 129 US dollars. I absolutely love the device as it has had an enormously positive impact on the way in which I get all the work I need to get done, done. However, because of its steep price, I feel it is out of reach to a lot of potential customers who could make use of the trackpad's added functionality. So naturally, I wanted to see if there's a cheaper version of the device I could buy on Amazon in order to review and ultimately determine if it's worth investing in for you, my audience. And upon looking on Amazon, I struggled to find any non-Apple made trackpads that are compatible with MacBooks. So I went ahead and bought the first one that mentioned being compatible with Mac OS. And that ended up being, forgive my mispronunciation, Sanda Touchpad Trackpad, coming in at only 60 US dollars, less than half of that of the genuine Magic Trackpad from Apple. Two days later, it arrived. And as soon as I took it out of the box, I noticed how similar it feels to the Magic Trackpad in the hand. In the box, you get two relatively high quality feeling USB-C to USB cables of varying lengths. The trackpad itself, and of course, an instruction manual in which it says the device is compatible with Mac OS. I connected the device to my laptop and quickly discovered this device was not at all made for MacBooks or as a cheaper alternative to Apple's trackpad too. As on a MacBook, this device only has three main functions, left click with one finger, right click with two, and scroll by dragging two fingers across the device. That's it. While to some that may seem like more than enough functionality for a trackpad, anyone with a MacBook knows that is not enough to properly use Mac OS. It does not allow you to switch between tabs with three fingers, access control center, or even pinch to zoom, all features I use on a daily basis on both my MacBook and desktop trackpads. This all came as a surprise to me as the manual says this device is compatible with Mac OS. This left me confused as it has great reviews on Amazon but seemed to not serve its purpose. However, upon further examination, I discovered this device was not made to be a cheaper alternative to the Magic Trackpad for Mac users. Rather, a trackpad for Windows users, as all those gestures I mentioned earlier will work on a Windows laptop, but not on Mac OS. And in my instructions, they do specifically say some gestures will not work on Mac OS, something I missed in my initial examination of this device. So naturally I realized it was my fault and as such this video is not a review of the budget trackpad. To assume this device would work perfectly with the MacBook was wrong of me. So I went on Amazon to see if I could find any non-Apple made trackpads that are made as a cheaper alternative for Mac OS users. And to my surprise, I could not find a single trackpad that seemed like it would be able to have all the functions I use on a daily basis. I could be looking in the wrong places, so if any of you know where I could buy one, I would greatly appreciate any recommendations in the comments. Nevertheless, I found it really interesting that I could not find a cheaper alternative that worked well enough to compare to Apple's devices. Displaying just how much of a monopoly Apple has on certain accessories to their ecosystem, which raises what is an interesting question I would like to leave all of you to answer. Is this monopoly Apple has on certain accessories and devices good and fair as Apple does spend millions and millions, sometimes billions of dollars on R&D to design incredible products like the Magic Trackpad 2, or unjust and unfair as it allows Apple to charge really high prices for what could likely be sold for a fraction of its price. I really do not know the answer to this question and would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. I would like to emphasize this is not a negative review of the Sienda touchpad as it was not made for Mac OS. Thank you for watching and please do consider subscribing as only 1% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed and as a small content creator, any support really does work wonders.